Cheers guys, welcome back. It is only a tea, but I believe if you cheers, you have to have a drink. Um, nice little plug for Toy Division here. One of the exclusive mugs. Uh, we might be trying to give some away soon. The, if you don't already follow Toy Division, give it a follow on Facebook and Instagram. It's a little account with by uh, myself, Mr. Dan Plastic, and then by Toys. Um, it, it's just for sharing toys, really. It's sort of all geeks hanging out. It's nice, no selling or anything. It's literally just sharing pictures of your, your collections. So, I already tried to do, film this and open the box, but this box was wrapped up so well, it took me far too long to get into the bloody thing. So, I've already opened it, but let's have a look at what's inside. Fairly excited. And, uh, I okay, guess so this has come from a seller on Instagram, uh, Facebook called Toy Planet. And,. I can just say they wrap very well. Oh yeah, okay, so have a card for them. I will figure out if I can a way to put the link at the bottom. Um, it's my first purchase with them actually. But it's a good one. So. This is now going to lead on to the, the video. Give us two seconds. Oh man, there's one thing, it happened with the other figure I got and I thought maybe it was just that, but... Okay, so, anyway, we have Toad Marshall from Bucky here and his amazingly green and orange accessory. Now, the one I have in there, which will bring them all out and we're going to talk about them. The same thing happens, right? This is really awkward to get into his hand. It's almost like they made the handle just a little bit too wide. Um, it's really flimsy. Anyway, I'll figure that out, and we're going to dive into where do you go? The Bucky O'Hare line. In another dimension, another time and space, a parallel universe is falling on its face. When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE, Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare, mutants and aliens and toads beware. You're looking for adventure with the senses. We're Jenny, Dead Eye, Blinky, and Willie to win. Okay, so if you'd have actually checked out the trailer, uh, watch it in its entirety because it's definitely one of the best intros of a cartoon series. Um, let's jump into like 1991, I think, 1992, and the crazy world of Bucky O'Hare. Okay, so this is pretty much my lockdown collection and uh, I know lockdown technically, well, there's lots of technicals about it. Is it still on, is it not? No, I'm really nice. But back in March, yeah, March, April, um, I started to get into the Bucky line thanks to Theo's videos. And I've gone down the road and kind of snowballed. But here's just an overview of some of the figures. They're awesome. So we'll start with the bad guys. Now you may notice that so many that there are variants, which is my love-hate relationship has been going through the roof with these guys. So we'll start with the non-variants. So we have Owl Negator, who is this awesome, awesome purple and green colours. He's really cool. Um, that died for a second there, I was like, oh, his tail's broken, but no. No, it's not. Sorry. Um, yeah, like his colours are awesome. Like this whole line just screams turtles vibe, playmates. Although it was made by Hasbro, um, the colours are just outstanding. With the exception of one, which I will point out as we go along. So you've got alligator. So Bucky O'Hare rivals are the Toads, and they're basically run by like a computer program called Complex. And this guy here is the Toad Borg. Now I got him originally, this chap, I was like, oh, I'm not going to bother with the variants of him. Then this popped up on a Facebook page, uh, Michael Hornsby, I believe the gentleman's name, um, just picked it up randomly, uh, and I wasn't going to ask if it was for sale, but I eventually did, and yep, and now he he's there. So you can see he's got like a sort of bronzy colour, uh, and then a gold colour. 
no river through the variants it's really weird I, i'm not quite sure whether it was i don't know if they got packaged in uk you get x if it's packaged in europe you get y or they just did them loads of different colors because they knew people would eventually buy them i have no idea i've never figured out the rhyme or reason behind it um but it's cool to have both of them obviously one of them is missing a gun but i'm sure it'll pop up somewhere along the line now toad marshal as you just seen there uh, I'm going to put a little picture or video now because the one on the left I freed him from a plastic coffin and I wasn't going to bother trying to get the green one but I was so disappointed with this gun and the gold combo like in contrast to the rest of the line look how like brightly coloured everything is it's all happy go lucky and for some reason they gave this guy an oversized black gun like a really yeah until I actually got it I wasn't really thinking about it but then when I opened it I was like this just makes no sense I'm not don't get this don't like it um, so that made me hell-bent on getting Ta -da, this badass um, I don't like the color schemes better even though it's the same size gun I get that I feel like it looks smaller it looks better in his hand it looks yeah I don't know I did I think the green one is a much better version of that. I think if you you know if you're a kid in a shop, your eyes are being taken to this. You know you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna go for the black and gold. But um, yeah, so but he's cool. So Toad Marshall is like the commander. Uh, Toad Borg is like the second in command to complex, and then the Toad Troopers, I think they're called. Um, are just your sort of stormtroopers. I think two of them had names in the TV show and they were like sort of comedy relief with um, Toad Marshall. Now they have a vehicle as well. The Toad Croaker, I believe is the name. And I've got two little dudes in here. And you've got gun, I've actually got one of the guns missing. Ooh, timber. I've got one of the guns missing, unfortunately, on the side here. Um, but it should be a gun like that. And then there's the uh, grabbers here, which are on safety strings so when you fire them it just uh yeah you know. anything oh god it's all gone wrong okay so they're the bad guys ultimately not that interesting uh, I mean I think Alan Gay is probably the better one out of all of them the toad, toad troopers are kind of cool to army build as I say the colours get me I really like the bright colours but let's move on to the good guys so we have the man, the rabbit, the hare himself, Bucky O'Hare. We've got Dead Eye Duck. We've got Willie Do It. Bruiser. Uh, AFC Blinky, I believe is his proper name. And Cam, uh, Commander Dogstar, or Captain Dogstar. I think it's Commander Dogstar. Uh, and then their vehicle, which is the. Oh no, hang on, I've got the wrong way around. That's the Toad Croaker. And that's like the double bubble. I'll, I'll insert the correct name because I've mind blanked, I've forgotten it. So, oh man, some of these are bad. That's like the, the, the one downside to this line, and this is, as I say, I used to watch this as a kid, and I had the figures as a kid. I've re bought these as, well, a kid adult, but it would have been good to get Jenny. She was like Bucky's number two. Um, yeah, I just think it's a bit of a shame they didn't do her. They have re-released, well, I'll get on to the, the guy at the back there, the modern version by Box Box Fight Studios. But, um, yeah, so the same thing. We see we've got Bucky O'Hare. Everything's the same. Orange gun, silver gun. This one's a bit lighter. I think it's just like sun damage. But if I, get a, if I find a cheap, like, other one, I might upgrade it, but I'm not that fast. Um, Dead Eye Duck is, 
Dead Eye Duck. Woof, don't say that, is it? Don't say that with a few beers. Uh, Dead Eye Duck. It's badass. He always kind of reminded me of like a, um, I don't know, like a Han Solo sort of character. Like a space pirate, a bit cocky, uh, loves to get into a gunfight. These are kind of ingenious and also a little bit annoying. All his guns, all four of them, are uh, all different sculpts. So trying to find them one by one, I imagine, is quite quite annoying, quite a task. Um, I was very lucky to pick these up, both complete, both for reasonable prizes. Um, Got to be honest, it's lying, even though it's like 90s and the 90s stuff seems to be inflated a lot recently. Uh, I've managed to pick these up fairly cheap, I'd say. I guess when you lay it all out, and if I was working it all out, probably... Maybe best part of 100 quid. Which actually sounds more than I've said it like that, but it's really not. It's not, it's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. Um, yeah, so you've got your space bar at Dead Eye Duck. Uh, now, this guy, I really want to get the variant to him. Because, it, again, again, my issue is the colour of his gun. There is a variant, I think there's two variants actually, but I'm only interested in the one. Uh, he should, he also comes with this sort of colour blue gun. And I just, I think, yeah, I much prefer that, that to it. I like that colouring. Um, he also has the most interesting gun, I think, out of the line. And he's really annoying because he hasn't told him and he doesn't stand up properly. But, look at that. Like screwdrivers, got hammers, uh, wrench, is it? Like, I think it's just really clever how it's all sort of tools put together. Sim simply, no, yeah, simply amused I am. But yeah, it's annoying because his hand doesn't actually hold the gun very well, whether that's just to do with age, because his, his like hands aren't solid like the others, like they all move, you know, all his fingers move, and it's very flexible plastic, um, whereas the others, you can see in Bucky, they're all solid hands, and you put the, put the um, handle through the, the fist, but it, still, he also comes with a backpack, which is kind of cool. But yes, yeah, so he's, he's, he's probably the only other variant I want to get. There is Bruzel's that comes with another one. He comes with a silver gun. But I'm not that fast. I th yeah, I like the bright coloured guns better. Uh, you've got Commander Dogstar. Now, I've got to be honest, I don't remember him that much as a kid from the cartoon. I didn't have him as a, as a figure. Um, but yeah, he was kind of one of the first ones that I ended up getting um, for the variants. Oh yeah, so they're, you know, they're cool. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot Mr. Willy do it with his, with his glasses, nice and clear. Again, there's like a, I don't know, like a, not a myth, but like groups and stuff people talk about and say that the, the orange ones are, some people say that they're just faded, the plastic's faded, so the glasses look like they're orange as opposed to clear, and other people say no, it's, um, variant, like they just use a different, they use an orange tinted plastic. Now, I have no preference, I don't really mind. I personally wanted clear ones because I remember having a clear set as a as a wee boy. So there we go. And you've got your 90s Bucky O'Hare range. So uh, this guy here is a modern take on them. So there's still love for Bucky O'Hare, it's getting redone. Um, Boss Fight Studios. Um, yeah. There you go. Boss, boss Fight Studios or BossFightShop.com. You can go pick up more. I am going to be getting a Jenny. Um, it's just for finding out when. I'm not a massive fan of modern figures. I'd rather get originals. But this guy looks too good. And a really nice touch with these is the clamshell. You can remove the card and take the figure out and then put it back, you don't have to rip it. So I know a lot of, you know, box collectors and stuff would never dare to open figures. But um, yeah, they're cool because you can open them and put them back. And I believe they're actually done in the same scale as the original ones. So it looks a bit taller because of the, the way I'm holding it. But yeah, the fact that these guys, I think, so this was like on the first one, first wave, 
they've now done I think two or three different ways and they've been working their way through the characters and as, as I say they've done Jenny which was never done they've also done the um, uh, what was her name she was a fox she was like oh, honestly I can't remember her name but I'll chuck a picture up bing um, yeah they've done her and, they, and they're working their way through characters that haven't been done which I really like I really wish other companies would acknowledge that and do figures that haven't been done before as opposed to keep rehashing anyway that's my problem um, yeah thanks for watching that was just the if anyone knows why the hell they've got like all the different colored weapons um, put it in the comments message me let me know I would like to know I yeah ever, trying to find out information on it, it doesn't seem like there's no one really knows but it'd be cool to have a definite answer. Um, I'm going to pack these up and probably unwrap my new DVDs that I bought. Watch a bit of Centurions. Peace. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you would like to, please like and subscribe. Go check out Toy Division. And have a good day. Cheers.